this is uh, not sure what I call it. It's the drift, uh, the drift pad. This is my drift pad plastic, um, but I'm uh, using magnets now. It was actually one of the first ideas I had to use magnets, but my earliest prototype was um, I didn't have these neodymium magnets that are super strong. So you can see, get an idea. There's a magnet inside. The, uh, the, the bed of uh, this Jeep. But you can see how strong these, these magnets are. And then I just have a couple magnets, um, three total on the side here. I just picked them up at uh, Home Depot. But they work pretty well, and the magnets are so small they can be hidden in the, in the car pretty easily. And then I thought, uh, I always wanted to use uh, like unmodified cars, uh, but with the magnets, obviously you need to modify the car a little bit. But then I realized, um, what if we're just, just putting a magnet on the wheel? That's where I need the, uh, uh, the, the repulsion of, of the magnet to, uh, to happen. So I just super glued uh, a neodymium magnet on the on the wheel itself, and that seems to work pretty well too. You can adjust the uh, speed by just giving it a little more. And then this car, I just taped three of the magnets on the on the back um, and this one just kind of a uh, cool thing happened uh, it, you can do a reverse like that. so you can do not just a drift but you can do a you know just spin out And this track, kind of a different, uh, separate concept, is the uh, adjustable nature of the of the track. There's a pivot point right there. I covered it with some tape. Uh, probably you should put the pivot point like right here. But anyway, you can kind of craft your own your own track a little bit. So here's a little more extreme. So the car will actually follow this and kind of spin out the, the opposite way.